Well, why don't all the electrons just jump off the surface? If you stepped into Kaufman Hall at ODU on Thursday, it's roughly a microwatt. You'd probably be a little lost. Most people don't know what a subthreshold transistor is, but Internet. you might. What inventor Clark Boyd is talking about is a new way of harvesting energy. Think of a battery, but definitely do not call it that. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a battery. <laughs> the potential breakthrough is called the Evercell, and it lives in a casing the size of a stamp. It's backed by quantum mechanics. Think of it as a completely different way of producing energy compared to the conventional battery. They cut the power required for most devices almost in half. Now, as locally based companies still in the early stages of research and development, there were some skeptical people in the crowd Thursday too. But Boyd believes these new energy harvesters are game changers. And there's lots of areas that, that these could be used. And here's a practical example. We've done reports on the condition of bridges on Hampton Roads. Well, imagine having sensors in the bridges that tell you when they start to corrode. The problem is, is you have to change these batteries all the time, so you can't really embed these sensors. The Evercell fixes that problem because it's a permanent energy source that doesn't require changing. And you can apply that to a lot of your household items too. Expect to hear a lot more about this technology coming right out of Hampton Roads in the next few years. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.